Here's a question. The OmniSky 3 laser. What size is this weapon? What are the benefits of purchasing weapons made by Hurston Dynamics versus Apocalypse Arms? All these questions and more will be answered as we take a deep dive into ship weapons. Sup dudes and ladies. As promised, along with the capital ship giveaway to our subscribers, on every video we're giving away a ship to someone who commented on the previous video. And since it's been a while, and the price is right, I'm giving away three Archimedes. And here we go. Congrats to Mr. Dot One, congrats to Bench 70, and congrats to Dominique Gunderson. Simply leave a comment and you could be the winner in the next video. In the Star Citizen universe, the weapon manufacturer matters. For example, two plasma cannons with the exact same size can behave totally different. And with roughly 12 manufacturers, Things can get confusing. Below is a summary of what you can expect from each manufacturer. A&R supplies your origin ships, being the U-300 series. Apocalypse Arms, they're known for their ballistic repeaters and scatter guns. Associated Science will provide your high-end distortion weapons. Bearing gives you a great variety of everyday weapons like lasers and ballistics. And Gallinson provides your Gatling guns, mainly your Mantis GT. Hurston Dynamics. Their weapons are designed to do more damage as the weapon heats up. Joker Enterprises. They focus on criminal and pirate activities. Claws and Werner. If you're a repeater fan, this is your category. Knight's Bridge. Provides a lot of weapons for the Aurora series. Preacher, if you're looking for a distortion scatter gun, then look no further. Max Ox, one stop shop for your neutron weapons. And finally, Kruger, which supplies the Merlin and Archimedes. Below is a quick look at the various ship weapons and damage types. Everything from your auto cannon, which provides a slow rate of fire, to the scatter gun, which behaves like a space shotgun. Great for close range. And neutron damage, effective at longer ranges, while tachyon does a massive amount of damage. Damage from laser weapons will decrease over longer distances, while neutron damage becomes stronger at longer distances and weaker at shorter distances. And finally, weapons and sizes. Size 1 is typically found on your snub or starter ships. Below, notice a large array of options. Everything from the Distortion Cannon, the Sucker Punch by Joker, to the Tachyon Cannon, the Singe, which is an alien Banu weapon. Also note, there are three types of laser auto cannons. One, the OmniSky 3 by A&R, the M3A by Bering, and the Glaive Weak, which is designed after a Vandu weapon. And although it is named the OmniSky 3, it is actually a size 1 weapon. 
The OmniSky will provide middle of the road power efficiency, while the M3A is your cheaper alternative, known for poor power efficiency, but a slight damage boost. Deciding on the right laser repeater? The CF-117 by Claus and Warner are known for their high rates of fire while maintaining its accuracy, but they are also known for lackluster efficiency. The Attrition 1 features Hurston Dynamics' unique cascade technology, which is said to increase performance while sustained laser fire is maintained. Size 2 weapons are generally found on your small to medium sized ships. Size 2 introduces two very different mass driver cannons. The Sledge 2 by Claus and Werner has an increased shield penetration, limited 60mm hard ammo, has a reduced power cost and EM signature. The Strife by Apocalypse Arms uses a power-hungry electromagnetic accelerator but can rapidly fire its extremely powerful high-velocity projectiles. It's great at long distances but can also overheat. When selecting the appropriate ballistic autocannon, if you want the longer range, then go with the 10 series great sword by Nightbridge Arms. If you prefer the damage boost, then the Tarantula by Galingson will be your choice. The Sins Tachyon Cannon is a long range, high damage weapon equipped by the brand new Defender. It makes for a superior sniper weapon if your ship can handle the power drain and slow rate of fire. Looking for designer weapons? Apocalypse Arms makes the Helion and the Helion Shark Mouth Ballistic Scatter Gun. The exclusive Shark Mouth Edition features aggressive styling that is sure to make a lasting impression on your enemies as you unleash fire and hell. Additionally, this is a nod to the ability to customize the ship weapon designs in the future. Size 3 weapons puts you in the armament for medium to large size ships. Also note, there are more size 3 weapons than any other size. The size 3 category opens up options for plasma weapons. The Vandu size 3 found on the Vandu ships and the Pyro Burst Plasma Scatter Gun by a &R. The power burst is effective in close quarters, spraying self-detonating plasma projectiles, and sacrificing accuracy for saturation. This can be a lot of fun in Vandu Swarm. On a side note, the Panther Laser Repeater is a very popular, effective, and even deadly weapon in the verse. But my personal fave is the Mantis GT Ballistic Gatling. To all those pirates out there, Joker Enterprises, the manufacturers of the Sucker Punch, are also rumored to be creating a beacon bomb which is designed to simulate a distress beacon with randomized distress calls. This is definitely a company to keep an eye on in the future. One thing you won't notice on these lists are beam weapons. Although Star Citizen has yet to deliver a beam weapon, although I do not have a preference either way, it is clear that the basic tech to create such a weapon is available nonetheless, which is evident in the design of the mining laser, as will be the tractor beam, and possibly the salvage beam. Size 4 gives us the first introduction to the Salvation Distortion Scatter Gun by Preacher, or what I like to call the Disabling Shotgun. 
there must not be a big demand for size 4 weapons because as you can see the only options are limited. 4 laser options and 2 ballistic options are the only thing available so far. Size 5 brings us to the extra large and capital ship weapons, but of course there are exceptions like the Connie and Vanguard. Interesting note, the M7A utilizes new tech which minimizes stopping power loss over distance, making each shot equally effective over longer ranges. Which is similar to what you see with neutron weapons. And of course, size 6 is as big as it gets. Variations of these weapons have been seen in previous sizes. So let's see. We went from weapon manufacturers to design and damage type, and finally weapon sizes. Overall, I hope you found something useful in this video. But. If you're still hungry for information, like damage numbers, check out Cam Mural's page and spreadsheet, as well as the Star Citizen Wiki and other links in the description below. Now I know this video was on the more serious side, so hopefully I can get back to the quick, fun, lighthearted fanfare. Don't forget to subscribe for a chance to win a capital ship. Plus, we are literally giving away a ship on every video, so drop a comment. Now, since you made it to the end, the rule is to share something personal, personal about myself. So my favorite games of all time. Number one, World of Warcraft. Number two, XCOM Terror from the Deep slash Enemy Unknown. Number three, Phantom Dust. Star Citizen quickly working his way to the number one position. Well, that about wraps it up. A serious thanks for the support. And of course, Godspeed.